guys, it is my turn to do a sponsored video for iStencils.com and some of the, uh, us instruction, instructors I should say got uh, the ability to choose a couple of stencils and to demonstrate them. Now you've already seen uh, quite a few of the girls do their, their technique videos. I have chosen to do this stencil and we're going to be doing um, little textured um, collage elements for our journals and turning them into little nook dwellers. So this one is called Andrea's Reptiliana. So I picked it basically because it had the two different patterns and it also had the, um, the cool border edge in the big and the small zigzag pattern. So I thought that was a pretty pretty good um, choice for a stencil. I don't have a huge journal so even though I did get quite uh, a couple ones that were bigger than my journal I decided to go with this one here. So we're going to be working on a gloss uh, photo paper so that's what we're going to be doing as well and this one I've already inked so I'm going to show you on photo paper that's been inked um, using uh, some dilution sprays and some acrylic ink as well as some um, distress stain. So that one was just basically spraying and wiping off and all that sort of thing. So we're going to do a pattern that's already on a coloured page and we're also going to be doing one on the white page as well and then adding our own colours like this one down here. This one had, it was done on the white and then I thought I would show you what it looks like on an already coloured page. So, let's get started. Let me get my card here to spread the stuff. So what I'll do is I will move my journal out of the way for now. And then we might start on the white background. Hopefully that's not too glary for you guys because I, I am working at night because it is during the week and the only time during the week that I have a chance to do any sort of filming is at night time. So I've got all the lights going and hopefully you can hear me over the heater. It is freezing in my studio at the moment. So I had to come, my little, my fiance brought out my, my little blow heater so I don't freeze to death. So, we are going to get our stencil on top of our glossy side up, so you want the shiny side facing you. We're going to use um, gloss gel. This is just the one that I just bought, so I'll pull it up there so you can see that. So we're going to use that, and basically an old card, however you guys spread your stuff through your stencil. Now this is going to give you a texture so that it's nice and raised. So make sure, my, make sure it's down here and just spread the gel through, through your stencil. Make sure it's got a nice generous coat. The more you put on, the better your results are going to be and the better your spots, your scales of your little mermaid are going to be. Well, you might decide not to make a mermaid, but because I've got mermaids on the brain at the moment, I am thinking of ways to use my stuff in a way that a mermaid would. Mermaid scales, under the water. So I'm going to do both patterns there. So you guys are going to see the little dots down here and also the big dots. I shouldn't say dots. They're not dots at all. So I'm pretty impressed by the eye stencils that we got, that I chose. They are by far superior to anything that I've actually bought. And I've bought quite a few stencils. There's still some, uh, some of the photo paper coming through there. If you want to, want to get a nice even coat, make sure there's nothing. No photo paper coming through. Make sure the gel gets all the way through there. I'm just going to get a baby wipe because I've got that on my hands. 
and you're going to pull your stencil up like so gently 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 so because I had a little bit of ink already on my stencil I got a little bit through the gel medium but that's fine that's gonna add a look so you can see what that looks like so you've got that raised beautiful raised effect and we'll do the colored one as well just so we're going to do the same steps let me make sure I put it on right side down so this is the already inked photo paper using just spraying randomly and wiping things off I was playing around trying to think of a technique for you guys and I chucked a few temp tantrums and then I thought why don't I do something with photo paper I'm the photo girl I have photos in my journal I have photo paper everywhere so I already can tell this one's gonna look awesome so you're rubbing that through with your card making sure you get it all in the holes because you don't want your scales not to work so if you've got some photo paper or collage paper or even the painted pages that you guys are accruing with the gel plate craze that's going on this would be a great way to use it you don't have to do it on photo paper I just thought it added a nice bit of sparkle either back in your tub, which I'm going to do, and wipe my hands, and then we're going to pull that off, move that out of the way, so this is what it looks like under the coloured background, so you've got all that colour coming through, which is pretty cool. Now I'm going to use my heat gun and I'm going to mute it for you guys so you don't get blasted in the ear. So I'll be back in a second.
and make sure it is thoroughly dry. You can see me getting a bit impatient with the heat gun there. So I'm just going to put the lid back on my gel medium. And what we're going to do is we are going to colour these. As I find the other ones of mine. With some... Um, We're going to colour them with some distress stains. So I've got a couple of colours here. I might use this one. Yeah. So I'm going to use four colours here. Crushed Olive, Broken China, Pickled Raspberry and Dusty Concord. So you're going to need a, a baby wipe as well because what we're going to do is we're going to stick the colour on there. And then we're going to wipe it off. So hopefully it's dry enough to start doing that. Because otherwise it's going to clog your the tips. So make sure it's completely dry. And because it's going to resist the, the gloss. And it's going to colour in so your the spots that you worked in. And you can mix them in a little bit, let the colours blend. That's what you want. You want that beautiful mottled effect. So the colours blend. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get your baby wipe and you're going to wipe, wipe off. And pull that colour down into the other scales. And so you're going to create your own little rainbow scale basically and it's gonna it's gonna look beautiful so you're creating your own collage elements and that hot pink is just awesome and I make when it hits that blue it makes this really cool dark purple so technically I didn't even need dusty concord cord because I make my own purple pull it off Make sure you wipe down your resist. And so as you can see, some of the bits that didn't dry completely are pulling away a little bit. So make sure you're really gentle and make sure, oh, just dropped my lid. Make sure that you, you really get it to that dryness. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of trouble with this as well. So there's that beautiful rainbow effect. Now I'm going to just spray this one here with a, a spray just to get that really vibrant yellow in there. I'm going to pull it down and then I might do a pinky orange because I'm in love with this hot pink. It is just popping up in my art journal everywhere. But it makes such Ooh, it just sucks onto that photo paper instantly so you get a really rich vibrant look make sure your baby wipe is clean otherwise you're going to be rubbing pink and yellow onto your onto your scales the, but that also helps give it a different look as well so as you can see the distress stains are instantly sticking to the photo paper so this is what it looks like that stencil looks awesome. I think I'm going to cut this little bit out because I, I used this in my last mermaid and I think I might use this. Now with this, it dried and you can just see the texture there. I'm hoping that if I put on a little bit of black ink onto my scales. I don't know if this will work. I haven't tried this. I'm going rogue. So, we'll see. We'll see if it works or if I'm just crazy. Hopefully. No, I think it might resist the scales as well. I was hoping. But if you want to bring up bits of the, that texture and just use your black ink so that you can get a, a little bit of a see-through look. 
because if you were to just dab it on here with your distress stain yeah that one right wipes right away but the black seems to be bringing that texture out and not dulling down the back color too much which is what you want basically so that's just a different way to do it if you want to use up stuff that you've got already sitting around or collaged that's probably a nice way to do it but I am in love with this way this way gives you a much more vibrant rich color saturation and this will work too if you want to do just collage elements as well so we're going to get our journal pages ready to work in so let me just find a let me just find a spare page yep. okay so what we're gonna do I just need to wipe off my stencil because it's covered in gel medium where's my baby wipes gone off so we're not dealing with a, a messy stencil. Such a cool stencil. And they're giving Art Geeks members a discount on all orders, but you have to be a part of Art Geeks to get the discount. So if you're not, get on down there, sign up. And then you can be part of the final week, which is where all the all the teachers are, are making another video, and we're having a contest, which are being prizes are being given away. So the other thing you can do is to put your ink straight onto your baby wipe, and this gives a, a, a less. This is what my other page was. I was doing. So back here, this was just wiping off excess ink on a baby wipe from a baby wipe that I because I was playing around and trying to get a cool idea for you guys. So this is a good way to lay your colours down if you've got lots and lots of ink stuck in your baby wipe that you can still use. Let's see if we can get any pull off that pink, get some subtle colours down there. Yeah, this one's a good one. We like to use our junk to the end of the earth. So I might, there's those little dots. I'm in love with those little dots. So pull that, wipe it down. And that gives you a darker effect doing it that way because, so, because this is like liquid watercolor is a good chance that it'll go underneath the stencil but that also gives you a really cool look as well so you get the darker lines and if you rub like this you can get a little bit more so you got to use your stencils right to the end of their life let's put some blue up here a little bit so we want to get some variation in there pull that down and dab it off so you don't have too much of I don't have any paper towel like all the cool cool cats do no paper towel down in the studio so we'll just work with what we've got that's a bit of a mess down there but it's okay Ow little creature will end up there probably and so you use the excess spray pull it down and then you pull it off so we're getting a good good coverage getting that as much as we can out of our sprays and our inks because they aren't cheap so now that we've got our, our background and we've got our 
really cool collage element ready to go. What we need to do is we need to get a little face happening, a little nook dweller. So I'm actually going to speed this bit up because you guys know that in my group you can already see how I do my little creatures. So I'll speed this up so the video isn't too long because I'll run out of space and then I'll chuck a tantrum. So I'll speed this bit up. Okay, so what we're going to do is, when I find my scissors, there they are, is we're going to cut our collage face out. So,
As you can tell, my scissor skills are pretty, pretty bad. But hey, what can you do? So I'm just going to do a couple of touch-ups on the black. And then I'm going to, so it doesn't get lost on the page, I'm going to give it a little bit of a black outline. Not too much. I'm going right around the edge so that it's only given a really thin outline, not taking over the image too much. And of course my poor mat is getting used and abused. So now we're going to come back here and we are going to cut out a tail. Now I winged my last one and I'm going to do the same here because we like to be spontaneous but I want to make sure that I get the little bubbles in because the little bubbles are my favorite so cut. really simple because we're doing nook dwellers keeping it simple is best we are not worried about making perfect bodies So what we are going to do, now that we've got our collage tail, we are going to do the same thing as we did around the head. We are going to go around the body so that it has a little bit of black. And we'll stand off the page when we put it onto that crazy, crazy background. Like so. Now we're going to bring our, just move some stuff so I'm not, you know, art supplying myself into a corner, which is what I think I'm actually doing. What we're going to do, make sure I'm in frame, is we're going to make it look like she is diving into the ocean. Now, what I've done here, or we could do it like this to make it look like she's swimming, that kind of works too. Or we'll make her a little bit shorter. That's better. So we're going to glue her down in this way here. And what I might do is I might get that glue in there. Oh. Oops. Keep running out of storage on my camera. Right, so that's sitting there. So I'm going to be really quick so we don't get cut off again because I have to go and do a workout after this. But as you can see, these stencils are so versatile and I haven't even used the edge of my stencil that has that really cool razor tooth. So there's still a whole element that we haven't even explored on that one yet. Which is why I'm pretty in love with them. I am glad that they are being used in conjunction with art geeks because I think there's some fantastic students that can do some awesome things and the teachers have already already showed you what cool things you can do which I'm just getting a brush to glue this down so I'm using matte medium to glue it down because I have no idea where my glue stick's gone so we're going to get that down to find where I put my paintbrush and that medium in the back of our little nook dweller, our little creature and put her down there of course it's not going to hold it's going to be awesome like that so I'll just get a little bit of the gel and put that on the back because this is quite I use quite thick cardstock There we go. 
So what we're going to quickly do is we are going to get some arms on her. And because she's diving, we could either put her arms in front of her or behind her. But I quite like the look of the arms being behind. So in my other one, I, did, I used a rubber stamp, but I put her upside down. So we are going to put little, little arms and obviously some stripiness. So it looks like she's going down in the depths. A little bit of stripe. Oops. So you can do your own little collage elements. You can make hats. You could do anything you wanted to. I'm just going to put some really simple little bubbles. She is underwater, of course. And if I go overboard with that thick pen, I'm going to ruin her. So what are you guys going to order? Would you like to make collage elements? You can do the all-in-one stencil that Christy did. The ideas are absolutely endless. And I love that. And I'm a big fan and I will be buying more of these stencils and taking advantage of the huge discount that we're getting. And also, I hope you guys enter some of the competitions that we're going to have running soon. So I hope you enjoyed creating... Oh. This is what happens when you rush things. You don't look up and look at your tripod. So what basically happened was my tripod fell during that. So I'm going to quickly show you what I did. I glued down my fins, my collage fins, and then I glued down my little nook dweller right here. So you're getting the awesome tail fins there. I drew some bubbles. So you get to see the full effect of this bright and shiny, quirky little creature. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope you do your own little creatures that are swimming in the sea. Enjoy. Have a great night. I need to go work out and burn some calories. Go to iStencils.com. If you would like to have a look at their fantastic range of stencils, I know I will be. Have a great day.